Hey everyone, this is Cody. And Sean. This is a place to hear about the paranormal, the supernatural, and everything in between. Hey guys, so... Sean and I decided we were going to talk about uh, cemeteries and kind of what happens when you die. And, uh, you know, because there's a lot of different beliefs on what happens when you die. You know, do you go to heaven? Do you stay here? Um, you know, where does your body go? So we're going to, you know, take a, take a few moments and talk about that. I don't know, Sean, what do you think? What, what happens when, uh, when you pass over? Well, so that I think when I go into cemeteries, if I'm not investigating, I definitely get a like the heebie-jeebies like I get my hair stands on end right um so you know with the mediumship obviously there, there's a, a level of just communicating with something that you can't see which you know, I believe is spirit um so I, I, I truly believe that you know when we die we don't hang out well I mean there's just like personalities there there's there are different circumstances and I think um with those circumstances comes um <clears throat> why people stay and why people don't stay or, or why people come to visit their loved ones. Cause I truly believe when you pass and you've gone into the white light, you, you still can come and visit your family. And especially when your family's grieving, I really truly believe they're around. So you believe, uh, once they pass over, they can come back at any time, right? I believe that. Okay. Um, because I do have a, I do have a really good story and, um, and it, it made me believe that my grandmother had to prove to me that she was, she was right there. So, you know, we had, uh, we had the funeral for my, my grandmother. Um, the, the service and everything was outside, which is I would believe that that's what she would have liked. And I was sitting next to my mom, and, and I, I just out of the blue said, hey, you know, usually something that's significant spiritual, spiritually for me, a, a hawk shows up. And I just, you know, I didn't even really think about it. It just came out. And as, as the service started, you know, the pastors and you know, next to the, the grave site and a hawk comes in and flies and lands in a tree behind the pastor. Wow. And I, I knew at that point that that was my grandmother saying, Hey, I'm right here. So I'm it's walking. a sign. Yeah, it was right. a sign. Um, and it was clear to me that it was cause I'm close to my grandmother. So, you know, I knew she was just going, Hey, you know, thanks for thinking about me. Right. So yeah, I, I do believe that. I, I do believe that Cody. For so, sure. so, so yeah, I think there is, uh, yeah, I do agree with you. I do think once you die, you know, and you're in, you're in, I'm just going to say heaven, right? You're, you're up in your space. You do get to come back down, um, and, and just be here, right? You know, yeah. uh, be with your loved ones and whatnot. Maybe, maybe, maybe you're a guide or, you know, something like that. Um, I also believe that people do get stuck here when they die as well on the flip side. So again, it is circumstantial. Right. Um, you know, maybe, I don't know, maybe they were, they didn't fulfill their destiny or maybe they didn't fulfill something they were supposed to do. And they felt like, man, I failed during this life. So I'm going to stay here. Until I finish it, right? Um, Can I ask you, do you think sure. it's, uh, it's a, is it contractual that they're so, still there and they're fulfilling their ob obligation, quote unquote, um, to this plane? If you will? <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Sorry. I think it yeah. is. I think it is. Con uh, you know, I, I do think, well, I think you and I, we have a certain understanding um, that we all sign up for, for a contract before we come to this life, yeah, right? For sure. And uh, if you don't necessarily do that, then yeah, you're, you're like, man. I signed up for something. I need to finish it. Yeah. So, so you're kind of stuck on the other side and you're, you're not, you're, I want to say it's kind of in limbo because you don't know where to go. You can't really fulfill what you're supposed to do because you passed over. And I think there's a level of, in a spirit energy, in a spirit energy here, you still have the ability to I don't, maybe manipulate is not necessarily the best word for it, but um, you can still have involvement with, um, how things turn out, right? So you're a whisper in the ear, you know, because again, I think spirit is always trying to talk with us. Right. It's just we're so busy with the 3D distractions that we don't always hear it. Absolutely. But, uh, I, you know, I, I do think that, you know, that, that they're there. Right. Sure. And also, I do think that there <clears throat> is different kinds of spirits, right? So there's humans, there's human spirits. I do think there's, uh, there's elementals, right? right? I do think um, there is, there's different types. So, I'm a really firm believer of the difference between spirits and ghosts, right? right. I think spirit is only human, okay? Right. It's only human, or like a humanoid type of thing. And I think ghosts are everything else, right? So you've right. got your your 
animals, your animal ghosts, um, your weird beings, right? All, you know, all, all types of stuff like that. So I think it is very circumstantial on on what happens when you die. I think it's a a really opinionated term or a really right. opinionated question because there's so many different avenues, you know. Right. So I I do a lot of study with NDEs, um, and I don't I can't explain why, but you know, it, it, it's sat it just it. It really interests me to hear stories of people that have gone to the other side. Um, I don't know if because it feels familiar, but um, in, in so many different scenarios that people's lives created a different near-death experience or an ending to their life um, where it turned out differently because of their perception on mm-hmm. what life is. And again, going with what you're saying, I think that people have their perception of what's right or wrong uh, may it be religion, like, okay, I didn't live the Christian life or the the Catholic life I was supposed to, and now I'm fearing that I'm going to go to hell. So then they go, oh, I'm going to stay here because I'm fearful of the of that white light or that final or that n- next step forward. Right. And so they, they implant themselves here. And I think that, like you said, that's that's really... Um, those are the hauntings. Those yeah, are people absolutely. that live at their houses, and they get, like we said, cemeteries. That you know, the loved ones maybe are coming to say hello to their loved ones that are at their gravesite, and they're just there to say hello. Maybe they're still here because, again, unfinished business, like you said, or they they've already left and and knows know the family's grieving and wants to be there to support that as well as maybe they're a guy. Sure. Like you said. Well, you know, that, that kind of, what you just kind of sparked something, um, that recent invest, private investigation we did, there's also a type of person who gets possessive over something, right? Right. So let's say, let's say you own a business and you, you know, you, you bled for that business, cried for that business. It was your, it was your pride and joy, right? You ran it for 25 years, whatever. Then you suddenly die or pass away. And you can be really attached to that business, right? Which almost isn't really healthy. No, no, um, not at all. Like, because right. you, you, you're stu- I want to say you're stubborn because you don't want to go to the light or you don't want to go anywhere but right there. And that also creates a haunting. So. Right, right. Like you said, attachment, right? Like right. attached, you get that even with objects. Sure. Like pay attention, people out there, you know, <laughs> of how much do you love your personal belongings? Because – and how much do, do they mean to you? Right. I mean, that's what you really got to focus on because, again, that, like you said, that's an attachment. If you get too attached to something, you find that, okay, you don't want to move on because of those things that you truly love, which are just objects. Right. And then you get attached to them. Next thing you know, you're in some kind of um, antique store well, well, and I mean, you're look being at, sold, right? Look at, you know, Ed and, Ed and Lorraine Warren, uh, the Annabelle doll, right? Yeah. I mean, that was their, that was their big thing, and, and there was a spirit – in the Annabelle doll, so so I want to put out there. You said Warren. That's my last name anyway, but I'm not related to him. <laughs> but you know what? I'll go ahead and say it. Anyway. Right? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> no, no. I do. Yeah, I do, you know, I do think there is there is different avenues to to when you die. You know, there's there's all kinds of things, and and we don't really know for sure either. We yeah. have no idea. They're, these are all hypotheses and guesses, and you know, educated guesses. Yeah. Um, well, just I from. Guess- I like to think the mediumship thing, it, it just, I, I'm so skeptic, but I do feel like, um, and, and that's why there's this drive to study, of t- to understand what's going on after we pass. So, yeah, there's a lot of theories, and there's a lot of studies, and I, you know, I I think it's really important for anybody that's seeking, just go seek. There's a lot of things on YouTube that that's really good. Um, there's a lot of stuff that isn't. So, I mean, I think you just, Listen to yourself. It's whatever right? resonates with you, right? I mean, that's right. how that's what you and I've been doing since we first came to be. You know, yeah. it's just give and take for something. You know, religion, for example. There's certain things from Christianity that I can't stand, right? right. But there's also certain things that I do take to heart. So it's just yeah. you know, it's just kind of you, you piece your own reality together. Yeah, yeah. You know, it's not the new reality, but, <laughs> <laughs> but no, yeah, you know, yeah. Like you said, like I, I want to because. Growing up, I was I was actually I don't want to say I was introduced, but yeah, I, I got an opportunity to see a lot of different religions, and and even when I was young, I was you know I, I just felt like all these things that were being taught, there was more to it. Sure. Um. So, I continued to search, and and part of this that search is what we are today, new reality, and um, 
as well as the mediumship stuff. Uh, I, I truly believe that there is a lot more to what the Bible says and what these churches are, are teaching. Um, I, I'm not taking away from those those belief no. systems because they're really good for everyone. Um, but I just think there's a lot there's that and there's so much more. Um, I just think again we're we're all allowed our own perceptions on things. So and, and whatever your perception is i believe is very good for you well everybody has their own truth right you know yep everybody and and that's a whole topic on itself but everybody does you know everybody holds something true to themselves so it's their own reality right so so let me ask you sean so we kind of touched base on cemeteries earlier in the in the episode um why do you think spirits hang out at cemeteries or why or why do you think they're so creepy you know. Well, I think, well, okay, first question, why do I think that people hang out in cemeteries or, or energies? Sure. Spirits. Um, I, again, I, I, one of the things I truly think is that the loved ones come and greet them, and, and usually they go there because they want something. There's got to be some kind of object that's solid that reminds them of their loved ones. So I think what happens when you get a haunting in, 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 in one, not all cases – but in, in some cases, is that that spirit wants to come, wants to be there with the family that's grieving, right? Wants to be make them feel that hey, that energy's there and that their that love still exists, right? Because I think again, love doesn't die. I think our shells die, right. but our our energy and and we're pure love. And so I think that 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 energy comes to visit the family that's passed. Um, that's one of my thoughts, but. What's your thought? No, I, you know, I do agree with you. Um, definitely, you know, spirit is attached to, you know, and I say spirit because I mean, you know, our like you like you said, we shed our shell, right? Yeah. So I do think uh, we we do grow attached to our loved ones here. Um, maybe they signed up to come with us to this life, or maybe they didn't, right? But but either way, we are attached to them with that love. Right. So you know, we it's familiar. Um, we do want to be next to that so that that makes perfect sense i I completely agree with you um i do think there are there's different circumstances as well why you know why why people still hang out at cemeteries is maybe they super confused like they die really suddenly in a car crash or shooting or something you know something horrible and they're like what is this what happened what happened am i alive or am i not and they see these people come into their grave right and they're like what the hell's going on you know yeah why can't they hear me right right, right. Uh, yeah I, I mean can you imagine like <laughs> it, it would it would be crazy and, and going in my studies with ndes there's been no stories right where people have left their body and their loved ones are outside somewhere else and they're trying to hey what's going on so and they can't hear it so that brings me to an amazing movie i think it's a book too it's called the lovely bones um it's it's fantastic though it's about this little girl who you know she does die um by somebody who does not have the purest intent and uh she's stuck in in between literally she's in limbo and she's trying to get to her dad and she you know throughout the movie there's little her dad gets little clues of her being there like he'll fill her next to him or because he doesn't believe she's dead right he's searching and searching and searching and so it's just it's it's kind of cool that reminds me of that movie it's awesome yeah absolutely so it's all love based. So one hundred percent. That that's what that's what we are. Right. right. We're hundred percent love. Um yeah, I think, yeah, like you said, that's another thing. Um I think also you've got some of the just not you know, if there's a tragedy with a person that's done bad things and <clears throat> they're in this spot where they're going, Okay, I'm you know, there's still that jerk right. mentality. They're not going anywhere, but Maybe there, there, maybe there's an outside energy that maybe there's someone he killed or or she killed, and and they keep getting drawn to that, or they're condemned by a thought. Again, we we, I believe, create our own um, boundaries, our own what we're gonna do as far as re- reality, as we think this is how it's gonna be. We create, right? So I think that you know evil people. They're not always going to, you know, maybe it's it's a mental thing and they're not always having clear thoughts. And, and so their thoughts are, this is this is the existence and this is what's going to happen. And it, con- it condemns, condemns them to be in that location because of what they've created. Um, I still don't, I still truly believe an ugly person has divine opportunity where 
that that light comes in and tries to um, um, convince it or tries to Help. further it into an, a positive, more positive thing. Right. Uh, but I think that that again that goes back to after death. There's still an, you know there's, there's still growth, right? Well, that's why I love these conversations because there's so many different avenues. Yeah. Right? I mean, we can go on for hours and hours talking about what happens after you die, but the the beautiful truth is we don't know until until we until we die right you know yeah. so we so all with, are allowed our own um perception on how that is really. absolutely so with that being said sean and i have got a lot of awesome activity at graveyards i mean absolutely <laughs> right well, i mean we, you, if you go to our youtube um again we're gonna our, i'm sorry uh, our instagram and youtube we're gonna we're, we're working on um, you can see some of those opportunities where we had a lot of K2 hits and we could feel the cold. And, you know, we were in the one graveyard where we both, I felt chills. And Do you remember I, how cold that was though? That was bizarre. Was that was, so that was at Lafette Cemetery in Oregon. Right. And we were doing a ghost box session and we were kind of, so just a real backstory on that. Basically everybody said it's haunted by an evil witch who chases you out of there. I didn't really get that. Sean didn't get that yeah. either. Um, there was for sure an energy there and this was, was like we've been doing this for over 10 years now and I've never felt as cold as I did until then. It was deep, right? It was like a deep, and you felt it first, right? You felt it on your neck. And I could see my breath. Right. My, like I breath, when I would breathe, I'm like, that's bizarre. Yeah. And I, and that's when I made a comment to you. Right. Yeah. You said, yeah, you're getting the chills or whatever. And I, I didn't feel it at first. And then all of a sudden it came over to, to my area and I'm like, wow, right. it, it is freezing. It was like a blanket, right? Yeah, Absolutely. And, 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 you know, for those of you who don't, who aren't aware, um, the, the theory is when spirits are trying to manifest or they're, they're close next to you, it starts to get really chilly. Right. They, right. Yeah. Climate change. Right. Right. For sure. And, and uh, you know, I'm not gonna lie. It was cold that night, but nowhere near it's what deep. we were feeling. It was like a deep, deep chill. Yep. Like we were dropped into the freaking ocean, you know, <laughs> like, and, and what was cool about that was we were feeling it and the K2 was reacting as well. Right. It was in the red. We were going from green into the yellow, into the red, showing yep. that there was something there. Yeah. And which is great. Cause that's what we want to do. We want to, we want to feel, we want to have our, our K2 is our great tool and the ghost box and all those different things. Visual just, confirmation. Right? Yeah. Yeah. It just confirms. It's great. I well, I, I think we were doing a ghost box session there too. And, uh, we did get a good, we did get a good couple hits. You asked, is anybody here? And then you hear yes. And then yeah. shortly after you hear it, say my name. Yeah. So I think that's, no, that's no, great. It did say hi, Cody. Which or is, hi, Cody. Right. 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 Which was just phenomenal. <laughs> exactly. Phenomenal. It was like, they were straight up. And they, they were responding to a question there. Your, yeah. your response. Yeah, ab your, absolutely. What you said. <laughs> Again, I, I I love the wow factor because again, we've we've been into these locations and and when we go through the um, all the data, you know, it's nice to find those answers to questions. And we just did a private case again. We're you'll you'll see that on YouTube once we get it released. But we had a lot of EVPs that were very responsive to what we were asking. We had a lot of visual phenomenon. And we had just a lot of, um, yeah, we had equipment issues and yeah. equip, you know, just all kinds of different things. So we'll be excited when we get a chance to, to release that into YouTube and, and on our Instagram. That's our fave right there is working with Instagram. But again, we're, we're, we're two guys. So it's a lot of work to try to get what we need out there, out there. So we're, we're working on it <laughs> for sure. And, and that is true. You know, it, 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 we're just, we're just doing our thing. This is, it's our passion. It's what we like to do. Um, you know what I mean? And, and not everybody, not everybody does what they like to do. It's amazing. <laughs> you know? so. And I think you guys can see, you know, see that in our, in what we post and, and in our, our station, we blend well, you know, again, we, we're going to talk about that in another, uh, another actual, uh, podcast about how we met and how, how that all went down and, and the connection that Cody and I have, and, you know, just this is kind of I, I kind of want to just briefly talk about that just to, you know, we're exposing something we don't normally expose. So it'll be a treat for everybody to um, hear our story, which I think is very interesting, um, which, you know, we're going to go ahead and we'll release that a little bit later for everybody to to hear because you get to hear about what the new reality is. right? Well, well, and just touching on that, too. I mean, we are we are a paranormal group, right? That's what we do. But we there's also we we don't limit ourselves right yeah. i mean the, in our in the intro it says paranormal supernatural and anything in between because it really is like we've seen 
so many things that I wouldn't say paranormal, right? Yeah. I'd say, oh, that's, you know, that's divine or that's something we don't know. <laughs> Extraterrestrial. <laughs> right, you know, anything. <laughs> you know. It, the, the goal is not to limit yourself and, you believe. know, just, j- yeah, believe and, and keep an open mind because, you know, keep in mind, Sean touched on it earlier, we do go in as skeptics, right? We do we do try and disprove everything and we're not just, oh, that's paranormal. You know, right, that's yeah. it. <laughs> there are noises that are natural and there are things that are natural. So the goal is is to really just, if, is it paranormal? Let's prove it. Right. Um, if it's not, we want to we want to put whoever is in concern at ease that you know what you're feeling and hearing and is this not paranormal? Um, which is great because again, Cody and I are very uh, pract- we have practical jobs. Cody's in the law enforcement and he does he investigates cases. You know, I'm in I'm in aerospace. I was in research and development for several years, so it's all about uh, thinking outside the box for a new product. So we're we're already in the lines of uh, investigating right. or thinking outside the box. So that's why we we come together and blend so well. And that's what I like too is there's so many different avenues to paranormal investigating. Like there's there's really no wrong way to do it. You can right. do so many different things, um, which I think is really is a really cool aspect to what we do because we kind of take what we know and what we like doing and implement that into ghost hunting. Yeah, absolutely. We love it. All right, guys, that's all the time we have. So uh, feel free to give us a like, a follow, and uh, check out our social media. Thanks, everybody.